if you look at 10 to 15 years from now, I mean, really the way I see it, hydrogen will be the new, uh, basically the new fossil fuel. It will replace uh, natural gas for many applications and potentially replace diesel fuel for many transportation applications. And if you really believe we need to get to zero emissions, there are many applications where you're going to have to use hydrogen and it's going to play a key part in that you know, energy portfolio that's going to be required to achieve zero emissions. Hydrogen's kind of the Swiss Army knife of, of this transition. It's not the solution to everything. But there's many, many mobility applications where hydrogen is really the only solution because of the energy density. I think when you start thinking about how you replace peaker plants to support, support the energy industry, hydrogen, hydrogen storage is really the only clear solution. When you look at um, a tax credit of three dollars in the US, for example, then you are at that part of the production curve where you are becoming competitive across several sectors for transportation. For example, long um, long haul commercial transportation. It was already a market that was identified where the, the technology um, and the fuel were recognized as scalable right now.